What are some guy secrets girls don't know about? We like to feel special as well. Fathers often don't teach sons about sex. They just expect sons to learn it elsewhere. The male orgasm starts with cum and ends several seconds later. If you stay on the cock after we finish, we will likely convulse from what is either pain or euphoria. We don't know which. Men can frequently spend hours together and not talk about anything significant. If your husband boyfriend went out to play golf with his buddies and you ask him afterwards what did you talk about, he's probably not lying if he says nothing. He didn't go golfing to gossip. He went golfing to play golf. We can spend hours with our best friends and not say anything of significance. This conversation happens once a month. More than what did you guys talk about? Nothing. More than how's his wife? IDK. Good I think. More than are his kids enjoying their new school? What new school? More than you spent 6 hours with him. You really talked about nothing exciting? We tried to make the best possible baseball team using only names that start in R. Your guy friend would duck you if given the chance. That's why your so hates him. There are significantly fewer secrets than you think. Almost nobody ever compliments men. A simple compliment can make a guy's weak. We're starved for it. Edit. Holy crap. My poor. Poor inbox. I guess I hit a nerve. Thanks for the gold. Kind stranger. And apologies for not replying to everyone. We try to discreetly fix our balls by sidestepping midwalk. That in a typical day, nothing happens where we feel the need to share details with anyone. We don't miss the toilet seat on purpose or have bad aim. Sometimes the stream is hard to direct, and sometimes there's more than one. When I say, I don't care it means, I don't care. You know the meme with the couple facing opposite sides? Yeah well it's accurate as duck. 99% of the time, when you think we're having some thoughts about really deep issues or cheating on you, we're just thinking about random it like do bald guys shampoo their heads or just use regular soap, so stop worrying. We can come home from a long day at work and be perfectly happy sitting quietly not speaking a word at home watching TV or eating dinner with you. We're not mad or upset at you. That is just the way we are. Might be too late, but guys really enjoy side by side time. A lot of people have already brought us up, so I'm really just putting a name on it. It took a while for my wife to figure it out, but side by side time is when you are engaged in an activity with someone else, but not necessarily talking to them. You bond through the shared experience of the activity, not by talking to each other. This is why so many guys reminisce about shared experiences and tell stories about things they did together. I also happen to think that side by side time is why guys like games so much. I game online with my good friends frequently, and we rarely get past how are you in terms of personal chat, but we all love it. Same goes for watching sports, playing board games, other hobbies and stuff. So, if you really want to impress your husband boyfriend, Intentionally have side by side time with him. Pick an activity or hobby that he enjoys and just do it with him. Don't ask him if he's enjoying himself or what he's thinking. If you have to, literally just sit next to him on the couch and watch the game with him. If he's comfortable with it, quietly watch him build his computer or ask him how it works. Keep the conversation about the activity. Avoid asking him how he's doing unless he brings it up. Literally just be there with him. Sit and be there while he cleans his gun, or just read a book in the same room he's reading in. Total side note, especially for women who are married to an introvert, if you really want to have a conversation, ask your husband boyfriend about something they're interested in or enjoy. Point being, guys, and introverts in general, find it 10x easier to talk about something rather than themselves. Ask a guy how his day is, fine. Ask a guy to explain something about his favorite hobby, you will be there for hours. This is a generalization, but I think there's some truth in it. I think women tend to bond through verbal communication, and they get worried nervous to just be there with their partner, side by side, because they aren't actually doing anything, but guys see that as bonding and caring. Edit. Thank you for the gold. Kind person. I'm glad some of you found it useful. Sometimes we really are just thinking about nothing important. 
just staring off into space imagining what we'd do if ninjas suddenly attacked this room. My boyfriend told me about the apparently euphoric feeling of unsticking your balls from your inner thigh. That was a new one. If a guy says he's not thinking about anything, he really means it. My wife will frequently ask what is going on, believing that I have something weighing on my mind or that I am upset. But nope. Mind is blank. Quiet is just sometimes nice. I'm fine doesn't necessarily mean I'm fine right now but that I will be and if you keep bring it up it's going to make it worse. When we tell you we're trying to lose weight, we aren't asking you to compliment our bodies. We're bringing it up because our uncles have quadruple bypasses and the doctor told us we have high blood pressure. After you and your bro argue, as soon as you hang out again it's all good, no issues. Sometimes when we pee it comes out in two streams. Sorry I missed the toilet. We look in the mirror and think I'm actually not that bad looking. Edit. It's not all the time. But guys that have trouble. Try looking for things you like about yourself as opposed to the reverse. We take extra long to poop so we can sit on reddit without being bothered. We cup the water in our hands by our chest when we shower and then let it all out when it starts to overflow. That dating and dealing with rejection makes a lot of men feel unwanted and unattractive. We are suckers for compliments. Most attractive women receive compliments on a regular basis. Even if they don't want it. Most men never get complimented on their looks or style. This makes it so much more precious when it happens and it means a whole lot. True secret. When there is a poop stain in the toilet we will aim our piss at it to pressure wash it off. And yes if we get it that is considered cleaning the tolly to us. Edit thanks a lot for my very first gold. Thought I was too late to post. A co-worker showed me my post without knowing it was me. Glad my first gold involved piss very fitting. When men walk down streets and see each other, we usually just nod. As a way of saying I'm doing well. My fellow dude. We like surprise compliments presents too. We like to be spoiled sometimes, enjoy hearing we're handsome, like hearing our efforts are appreciated, would like to feel secure, too. There is no underlying message in what I just told you, what I said is what I meant. We can't help morning wood, edit, my most upvoted comment is about morning wood and I regret nothing, edit, thank you for the gold kind reddit gods. We're scared to break down. Sometimes when it feels like the whole world is on your shoulders it's scarier to think what would happen if you asked for help and no one knew what to do rather than asking for help at all. I miss being a kid. When you ask us to do something difficult for you, open a jar, fix a thing, move something heavy, drive a long distance, etc. And we seem to struggle. Don't stop us. At that point we have to get it done. Let us slay the dragon for you, and for us. The exception is finding stuff. You lost your phone. You'll most likely find it. I have no idea where it is. And I'd rather be fixing a thing. If we randomly surprise you with flowers or some gift for no reason, it doesn't mean there is an ulterior motive or that we are trying to get forgiveness for something. So when you make a big deal and try to roast us with questioning, or say things like wow, why can't you be more like this more often? All you are doing is sending the signal to the man's brain do not do the thing again that brings a suspicion on you. Besides, we know if it becomes expected, then it becomes a chore and we are treated as some sort of failure when we don't do it. Guys don't like the chase. That doesn't mean you need to be easy. But girls who play hard to get and will blow a guy off and ignore him and it because guys love the challenge. All you're doing is probably pissing him off and making him less interested. I think this comment is worth 14k upvotes. Stare at it all you want. Sometimes, men can be emotional too. It does hurt when a girl leads you on and it does hurt when she doesn't tell you the truth. A lot of girls try to play it off as something a guy just has to take. But it can actually affect us. Wife. Why didn't you tell me Jeff was having a baby? Me. Oh yeah. I forgot. Wife. When did he tell you? Me. Shrug. A few months ago or so. Wife. 
I don't know how you don't tell me these things immediately. Me. We probably started talking about how strong gorillas are and I forgot. Mostly nothing is that important to us. Except how strong gorillas are. That it is crazy. Edit. Holy sknikes. I'm just a simple man that loves him some primates. Thank you for the gold kind stranger. The D can emit sounds and be played like a flute. But must be practiced every day so you can master and strengthen the oral muscles required to play. If you deny a man his post work it, you are flirting with disaster. We wish you'd think duck gender roles and social norms and come talk to us if you're interested. Romance is a two way street. We don't pick up on subtle hints that you are interested in us. If you want to get a guy's attention you pretty much have to either hit him over the head or strip right in front of him and rub yourself all over him. We masturbate more than you think. Your beach and swimsuit photos on the internet most likely have been fapping material for at least one guy. We take a long time to shower because, dart we're trying to redirect the stream of water toward the clumps of your hair on the wall. Cause that's gross to look at. It takes a while without an adjustable shower head. Edit. This has gained a strange amount of attention. So I just want to say that we do have a filter sieve thing we put over the drain to catch all the hair. But there is still hair on the wall for some reason. And it is our duty to splish and splash so each strand squiggles down like a worm on a water slide. There usually isn't a meaning behind how we act. Take it at face value for what it is. Drives me insane that my wife and her friend overanalyze every little comment or text about the guys her friend dates. If he is an asshole, he is an asshole. We can be just as self-conscious as you. Relating very hard with these posts right now brothers. We rarely discuss our six lives with other men. The most we are likely to say is yeah we banged if it's a one time thing and nothing if we are in a relationship. Never go into detail. It's doing each other a favor because we know the other person doesn't want to hear that it. If you come to our house and the bathroom is spotless, including the sides and area around the back of the toilet, you can rest assured that you are well liked and high in the Pantheon rankings. If the bathroom is half acid, you are low ranked and just passing through. When guys hang out, all we do is hang out. No gossip involved, usually. If I am spending the night at a buddy's house playing LAN, that's all we are doing. We ain't talking about what happened at schoolwork etc. Okay here's the big one. You wake up in the morning. You roll out of bed and fumble your way to the kitchen to pour yourself some cereal or make coffee. But you're out of milk. You throw on whatever clothes you have to. In order to not break the law or freeze to death. Then you stumble down the road and into the nearest shop for milk. Then you return home and eat your cereal. At no point do you give a single it about what you look like or what people think about what you look like because if they actually care they're an asshole and you don't have to care about them. And that's the secret to male confidence. When possible, leave at least a one urinal gap as a buffer. If a guy goes out with other guys, chances are when he says they talked about nothing they actually did talk about nothing interesting. No gossip. No how's the family, it just tends to be talking about some sort of shared interest or hobby and a lot of banter. And when you ask him I can almost guarantee that he remembers almost none of the content of the 5 hour conversation they've been having. We all think our d's are small until we receive external confirmation. Edit. To everyone replying that you've always known that your d was huge, I'm also sorry for your loss. We only want one thing and it's ducking disgusting. When we tell you about the pain of being hit and the balls we are not exaggerating. We really don't give a it where we go to dinner most of the time. We just wanna eat something. We are blank slates when we are hungry. Guys like being touched. I like it when a lady keeps her hand on my thigh when we driving. Or rubbing my head when we're laying on the couch. Pretty much just any contact. My wife is the opposite and it sucks sometimes. When pissing in the middle of the night our echolocation is increased tenfold and we have the ability to know where the piss stream is hitting in complete darkness. This thread makes me feel so understood. If we're dating and planning on hanging out tonight I'm going to rub one out in the morning just in case we have sexy time so that I don't blow my load in the first minute. We don't need special mood. K 
candles. Music for wanking. Usually it happens cause we were scratching our balls. We get boner all the time. And no most of them are not sexual boner. We just get them. Randomly waking up at night. With boner off course. Waiting at waiting room for your doctor's appointment. Boom boner. Middle of a serious office meeting. Boner out of nowhere. It's not always sexual. And when we get in the kinky mood. Can't think of anything else before calming the horse. Men loves when woman happy. We love cuddling. We love someone thinking about us too and doing random acts of kindness. We appreciate help with things even though sometimes we may not ask for it. We will open the hood of the car and stare at the engine even if we have no clue where that noise is coming from or what it means. After a couple minutes of that, we'll announce that it might be a random part we remember the name of and it should be checked out by a mechanic. I think it's not often addressed that guys, just like girls, also deal with their fair share of insecurities, body dysmorphia, and pressures from society to act and look a certain way. It's just that openly talking about it and dealing with those emotions is more shameful and less accepted. The word dude has something like 150 different meanings. Depending on how you say it, it is a genderless term and is applicable in almost any situation. We see most of the hints that you girls give off. However, we choose to ignore them mainly for one of two reasons. Sometimes it's because we're not completely sure that it's a sign of interest. Because your hints are too damn vague. And we don't want to risk it or sometimes we're tired of all of the immature games and we want you to be direct. If you can't be direct then you can only blame yourself for nothing happening and or you're not interesting or attractive enough to make us want to wade through all the hint nonsense again. Comma or sometimes we are just not interested at all and don't want to make a big deal about it. That we have probably fantasized about ducking everybody in your group of friends assuming they are not despicable looking. Despicable being a very loose term basically meaning don't be super fat. My girlfriend was surprised to find out that we actually enjoy fixing things. I haven't met a single person who doesn't enjoy fixing something in a field he's an expert in. Bonus points if he knows nothing about said field but still manages to fix it. Being the little spoon is also nice. 